Hi everyone, welcome back to my Bible reading channel where my goal is to bring the Word of God to as many people as possible. So today I will pick up where we left off in Hosea chapter 7. I want to heal Israel, but its sins are too great. Samaria is filled with liars. Thieves are on the inside and bandits on the outside. Its people don't realize that I am watching them. Their sinful deeds are all around them and I see them all. The people entertain the king with their wickedness and the princes laugh at their lies. They are all adulterers, always aflame with lust. They are like an oven that is kept hot while the baker is kneading the dough. On royal holidays, the princes get drunk with wine, carousing with those who mock them. Their hearts are like an oven, blazing with intrigue. Their plots, their plot smolders through the night, and in the morning it breaks out like a raging fire, burning like an oven. They consume their leaders, they kill their kings, one after another, and no one cries to me for help. The people of Israel mingle with godless foreigners, making themselves as worthless as a half-baked cake. Worshipping foreign gods has sapped their strength, but they don't even know it. Their hair is gray, but they don't realize they're old and weak. Their arrogance testifies against them, yet they don't return to the Lord their God or even try to find him. The people of Israel have become like silly, witless doves, first calling to Egypt, then flying to Assyria for help. But as they fly about, I will throw my net over them and bring them down like a bird from the sky. I will punish them for all the evil they do. What sorrow awaits those who have deserted me? Let them die, for they have rebelled against me. I wanted to redeem them, but they have told lies about me. They do not cry out to me with sincere hearts. Instead, they sit on their couches and wail. They cut themselves, begging foreign gods for grain and new wine. And they turn away from me. I trained them and made them strong, yet now they plot evil against me. They look everywhere except to the Most High. They are as useless as a crooked bow. Their leaders will be killed by their enemies because of their insolence toward me. Then the people of Egypt will laugh at them. Hosea chapter 8 Sound the alarm. The enemy descends like an eagle on the people. On the people of the Lord, for they have broken my covenant and revolted against my law. Now Israel pleads with me, help us, for you are our God, but it is too late. The people of Israel have rejected what is good, and now their enemies will chase after them. The people have appointed kings without my consent, and princes without my approval, by making idols for themselves from their silver and gold. They have brought about their own destruction. O Samaria, I reject this calf, this idol you have made. My fury burns against you. How long will you be incapable of innocence? This calf you worship, O Israel, was crafted by your own hands. It is not God. Therefore, it must be smashed to bits. They have planted the wind and will harvest the whirlwind. The stalks of grain wither and produce nothing to eat. And even if there is any grain, foreigners will eat it. The people of Israel have been swallowed up. They lie among the nations like an old discarded pot, like a wild donkey looking for a mate. They have gone up to Assyria. The people of Israel have sold themselves, sold themselves to many lovers. But though they have sold themselves to many allies, I will now gather them together for judgment. Then they will writhe under the burden of the great king. Israel has built many altars to take away their to take away sin but these very altars became places for sinning even though I gave them all my laws they act as if those laws don't apply to them the people love to offer sacrifices to me feasting on the meat but I do not accept their sacrifices I will hold my people accountable for their sins and I will punish them they will return to Egypt Israel has forgotten its maker and built great palaces, and Judah has fortified its cities. Therefore, I will send down fire on their cities and will burn up their fortresses. Hosea chapter 9 O people of Israel, do not rejoice as other nations do, for you have been unfaithful to your God, hiring yourselves out, or yeah, hiring yourselves out like prostitutes, worshiping other gods on every threshing floor. So now your harvest will be too small to feed you. 
There will be no grapes for making new wine. You may no longer stay here in the Lord's land. Instead, you will return to Egypt, and in Assyria you will eat food that is ceremonially unclean. There you will make no offerings of wine to the Lord. None of your sacrifices there will please him. They will be unclean, like food touched by a person in mourning. All who present such sacrifices will be defiled. They may eat this food themselves, but they may not offer it to the Lord. What then will you do on festival days? How will you observe the Lord's festivals? Even if you escape destruction from Assyria, Egypt will conquer you, and Memphis will bury you. Nettles will take over your treasures of silver. Thistles will invade your ruined homes. The time of Israel's punishment has come. The day of payment is here. Soon Israel will know this all too well. Because of your great sin and hostility, you say, the prophets are crazy, and the inspired men are fools. The prophet is a watchman over Israel for my God, yet traps are laid for him wherever he goes. He faces hostility even in the house of God. The things my people do are as depraved as what they did in Gibeah long ago. God will not forget. He will surely punish them for their sins. The Lord says, O Israel, when I first found you, it was like finding fresh grapes in the desert. When I saw your ancestors, it was like seeing the first ripe figs of the season. But then they deserted me for Baal Peor, giving themselves to that shameful idol. Soon they became vile, as vile as the God they worshipped. The glory of Israel will fly away like a bird, for your children will not be born or grow in the womb or even conceived. Even if you do have children who grow up, I will take them from you. It will be a terrible day when I turn away and leave you alone. I have watched Israel become as beautiful as Tyre, but now Israel will bring out her children for slaughter. The Lord, O oh Lord, what should I request for your people? I will ask for wombs that don't give birth and breasts that give no milk. The Lord says, All their wickedness began at Gilgal. There I began to hate them. I will drive them away, or I will drive them from my land because of their evil actions. I will love them no more, because all their leaders are rebels. The people of Israel are struck down, their roots are dried up, and they will bear no more fruit. And if they give birth, I will slaughter their beloved children. My God will reject the people of Israel because they will not listen or obey. They will be wanderers, homeless among the nations. And there you have it for another Bible reading. Thank you all so much for your fellowship. And as always, if you have any prayer requests, feel free to leave those in the comments below so that myself, my prayer team, or anyone who reads them can pray for you. And thank you to everybody who prays for me as well. Thank you all again. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless and goodbye.